Yo, check it out. You want to know the best way to grow your podcast downloads, your monthly downloads. I'm going to give you a hint right now. It's probably not what you're thinking. Stick around. You're going to want to see what we got coming next. Yo, what's cracking? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Zachary Babcock. I'm the host of underdogempowerment.com. We're about to talk about how to get more podcast downloads the very best way. But first, if you're just beginning on podcasts, you definitely want to check out my podcast roadmap. It's a complete comprehensive guide to get you from absolutely nada to having your show launched on iTunes. I'm going to link that up in the description below. Cool, man. So you've probably been podcasting for a minute. Uh, you might have been doing this for a while, but you're not really seeing any growth with your podcast. The downloads, the monthly downloads, kind of like ebbs and flows, ups and downs, and you're kind of getting frustrated at this point. And you want to know how to be able to start growing explosively and organically where you're not having to spend money on ads. I'm not saying that spending money on ads is a bad thing, but I'm about to show you some proven the best proven strategy to grow your podcast organically. Real quick though, let me show you my stats to show you know that I'm not on no faking, faking anything around here. All right, here we are in my Libsyn account. When you first log in, it shows you some quick snapshot stats, but what I wanna show you, let's look at these sophisticated stats. So this is pretty unique, this is pretty cool right here. Um, let's bring the date range all the way back to the very beginning when I first launched the podcast. And what I wanna show you here is what's gonna be really powerful for you when you grow your podcast is this. If you see right here, man, I was so pissed off for the first, I don't know, 10 or 11 months, ebbs and flows, slow, painful growth. I'm, I'm sitting here like, man, I'm putting out killer content, I'm interviewing some killer guests on my show, but I'm not growing, what's going on? And then once we started implementing the strategy that I'm getting ready to share with you right now, we started seeing growth explosive growth this is a daily breakdown let's take a look at the monthly right here so you see ebbs and flows growth slow and painful and then we started implementing the organic completely no advertising completely organic strategies and started growing by sometimes a thousand look right here it's a 1500 jump uh, and that's the power of what I'm getting ready to show, share with you right now most people all right when I when I sit there and I ask most podcasters that I work with I'd say over 90% of the time I ask them, what's your number one strategy to grow your podcast? And over 90% of the time that answer is, oh, I just shared on social media and I asked the guests to share. And as you see, a clear indicator from my stats that if that's your only strategy to grow your podcast or if that's your number one strategy to grow your podcast, you are seeing ebbs and flows growth like I did for 10 to 11 months. Uh, and the reason why is because of this. When you share on social media, everybody already knows that you have a podcast, and if they wanted to check you out, then they would. Now, you should be sharing on social media, but it should be the very last thing you should do. Uh, the reason why you should share is because people need to see it more than once before they actually take action and come check out your podcast. Another reason would be because you get new followers, all right, and they don't know you yet, and they don't know that you have a podcast yet, and so they need to get to know you and maybe see it a few times before they actually check out your podcast. And the third reason why you should share on social media is be the best part is because when a guest shares it, you could potentially reach a new large audience. So those are the reasons why you should share on social media. However, sharing on social media and getting the guest to share, guest to share should be the very last thing uh, as far as your growth strategy is concerned. The number one thing, uh, I promise you, there, there's a bunch of different ways to grow your podcast organically. Uh, dude, there's a bunch of proven kick-ass ways to do this. I'm going to share with you, though, probably the 80-20. If you do this one thing, I promise you, if you do it right, you will see growth on your podcast, explosive numbers, just like I shared with you, and that is by getting on other podcasts that align with your podcast and your personality and then plugging your show on those podcasts. That's it. Seth, Go Seth Godin quoted, he said, guest podcasting is the new guest blogging. What did people do when blogging was a new thing way back, <laughs> way back when? Uh, you would see guest blogging and people, you know, because it's a proof of concept, they would go on there and they'd write some good content. And the proof of concept was people that read that blog are a proof of concept that they actually read blogs. And if they enjoyed what you had to say, they would come check out your blog in the process. Same thing here with, with guest podcasting. You go on another show, be yourself, you crush the interview and you plug your podcast. And if people enjoyed what you had to say and they're curious and want to know more about you, they're going to come check out your show in the process. It's as simple as that. Now let me show you exact strategies on how you can actually reach out. So let's head back to the computer. 
All right, the first place that you're going to want to go to do some interview swaps or get on other podcasts is Apple Podcasts. So here we are. Now, uh, this is where you go when you're on the store and you're selected on podcasts up here. You make sure you're selected on podcasts, boom, and you hit store. And now this is what you'll see. So the very first place you want to go is to search your own podcast. And let me show you. So I'm going to bring up mine right here, and we're going to bring up my podcast. Once we bring up my podcast... We're gonna. It's gonna show all the podcasts that we've been on, but uh, we're gonna actually click our podcast. So once you're on your podcast, you got these three tabs right here. Detail shows you your episodes, ratings and reviews, self-explanatory. Your ratings and reviews. What you want to click is related, and then it's gonna show you listeners also subscribe to. If you're not seeing this, it's because you are a brand new podcast, and it takes a couple weeks for Apple Podcasts to populate. So just be patient. This will come. But this is the first place you want to start, and the reason why, because listeners that listen to your podcast. Podcasts, they're also subscribed to these podcasts, which means the other people that are subscribed to these podcasts are more than likely a good fit for yours because they, they like that podcast and a lot of people that like that podcast also like yours. So what you'd want to do is to click on these and reach out to these people, find them on social media, get their email and uh, propose either an interview swap or for you to go on their show. That's the first place you want to start. Um, another place that you could go is you click store and then you search your category. So for me, I'm going to use mine as an example. I would go to business right here, select that. And then what that's going to do is going to show me all of the categories, the subcategories in business, right? So I'm going to stick with shows that would align with my show and uh, personality types that would align with mine. So I'm an entrepreneurship. That's a perfect place to start. Go in here. And I can start reaching out to people in the entrepreneurship category. I can even find people that listen to these shows. Like I'll click on Ryan Suma would be a perfect fit because we both have a similar past. We've both been to prison, overcome uh, overcome it, turn our lives around, and became entrepreneurs. That would be a perfect person that I'd want to invite on my show and go on his show. Um, but I can also hit his related and see the other podcasts because maybe these are some lesser known podcasts to get on. Um, you literally just go through here and find podcasts the key here is to make sure that the podcast that you're going on, don't go on just any podcast. Go on podcasts where the audience would be a perfect fit for your show as well. And that way you're saving yourself a lot of time. Because if you go on podcasts where it doesn't align, you're just going on there and those people really aren't going to resonate with you and they're not going to come check out your podcast. Yo, check it out. What's one strategy that you've used to grow your podcast, your monthly downloads on your podcast? Let us know about it in the comments below. We'd love to get your feedback. Yo, if you thought this video was awesome, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, man, then give it a thumbs down. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel so you continue to get the number one resource to help you level up in your passive income business. And real quick, if you don't have these four pillars locked in for your podcast, it doesn't matter what I just showed you here today because none of this matters unless you have these four keys locked in. So I highly suggest you check out this video which shows you the four keys to long-term podcasting success. I'm going to see you on the next video. Peace.